what's going on everybody so it's the next day or the same day same day for me next day for you guys but as you can see behind me is we got all the frame done we got all of the cross members installed we got everything tidied up we got it all painted put a nice coat of self etching primer on it we descaled the entire frame we shot the primer over most of the frame in the rear section and not only that but we shot a coat of nice black frame paint on it so it'll be a nice flat black when it's done and that'll give the customer the ability to throw any kind of pour 15 or anything else on top of that that he wants because it's already been pre-etched with the etching primer so we like to make sure that our customers can take care of their vehicles once we fix them so that they don't just keep rotting out again but in this episode episode three we're going to concentrate on the bed now we have four broken bolts in the bed there's a total of eight bolts total that hold the bed to the frame itself now problem we're running into is that two of the rear further rear bolts the nut certs are actually spinning inside of the bed rail and the reason they're doing that is because the bed rails on this thing are pretty rotted however we do have six really good bolts we have two that are stuck that I know I can get out we have um, four more that are perfectly fine the threads are still good the bolts are still good so I think what we're going to do is we're going to concentrate on at least getting those six bolts in because this truck is not used for any kind of heavy hauling. So missing two bolts, not a bad thing. And even if we tried to weld to that bed rail, that bed rail is so rotted that those bolts would be doing nothing anyways. So we're just going to concentrate on the six bolts. We'll have the four most forward bolts and two in the very rear. And I think we'll be totally fine with that. So let's get over there to the bed and I'll show you what's going on with it. All right, guys, so as you can see, this is, we're facing the rear of the bed. This is where the tailgate goes. You've got one bolt here that is perfectly fine. There's very little rust, if any, just all surface rust right there. That's a good bolt. Then we have one on the other side, same thing. Very good bolt. Then we move to this section here. Now, you can see that this is rotted pretty bad to the point where I can just break metal off of it. That bolt and nut cert are actually spinning inside of this bed rail. So I think it's going to be very highly unlikely that we're going to be able to get these out of here. And if we did get them out of here, it's rotted to the point where I don't think that even putting a bolt in there is going to do any real good. Now, these are the sections right here. These rails, although they look gnarly, are a lot better off than the ones back there. We got a broken bolt here that I know I can weld to. We'll heat it up, we'll crack it loose, and we'll get it out. Same thing with the other side. We'll heat that one up, we'll crack it up, we'll crack it loose, and we'll get it out. And then we have a perfectly good one here in the front and another perfectly good one over on the other side. So what we're gonna do is um, we are actually going to probably try to weld something to those broken bolts. Now, normally what happens is you can build up weld and then grab those bolts with a pair of ice grips or something, and that pair of ice grips will actually allow you to spin that bolt out. Now, when we spin that bolt out, those threads should be okay, and we can put two new bolts in it. So we'll have a total of six bolts holding this bed on, which I think is going to be more than enough. So let's get into, I'm going to go weld that right now, try to get those two broken bolts out. I'll bring you guys back and let you know if I'm successful. All right, guys, so we had to improvise. These are as bad as the ones in the back, you can see. So the nut certs were spinning inside. I tried to weld a nut onto the stud to get it out. I heated it up, the whole nine, nothing's coming out. So what we ended up doing is taking some old half inch bolts and welding them to the actual bed itself. And instead of bolts, we now have studs. And then you guys would probably say, well, it's not gonna sit flush. Well, yes it is, because we actually widened out these holes right here, just enough to where that whole thing will slip right through. And then we can put a washer underneath with a nut and we're good and it'll act like a stud which is awesome well heh, that sounded kind of funny it'll act like a stud but these will actually locate help us locate the bed when we go to put it back on so we'll get the bed back on we'll bolt these up and what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring you guys back once the bed is on the truck so i'll probably time lapse that just so you can see the bed getting lowered down onto the truck I'm going to put the fuel tank in first and do all that stuff, so yeah, we're going to do that.
Well, here you go, fellas and fellettes. The bed is back on. As you saw in the time lapse, I'm pretty used to doing things by myself, so, you know, with the right amount of planning and the, the proper amount of tooling, you can do just about anything by yourself. But if you are doing this job in your backyard, then I highly suggest getting probably at least some really tall jack stands and taking the bed off with a bunch of buddies and leave the alcohol out of the equation because then things get ugly. But bed is back on. We literally have a few things we got to plug back in. We got to put some bolts and nuts on and this thing is good to go. Fuel tank is in and uh, yeah, so we got everything done and ready to go so this job isn't too bad um i've done a couple of them before years and years ago it's been a while since i actually had one of these things in here but they always do this the shock mounts right out first and then it blows a shock up through the bed um then the cross members start to go and the gas tank straps break this one actually had one bad strap that i replaced then after the gas tank falls out of the thing, then you usually start losing the cross members and then your hitch falls off the back and you run into all kinds of problems. So hopefully we stop that from happening with this one. We did a lot, a lot of work to it, just in general to, you know, re-protect the frame. We basically needle scaled the whole thing and then hit it with the, with the flap disc and then wire wheeled it, hit it with a self etching primer, then hit it with a flat black frame paint, frame paint so that it's hopefully better protected than it was before. Um, I don't see it having a problem in the near future and the guy literally just wants to get another two or three years out of it. I think if he takes care of it, he could probably get another 10 years out of it. It's already got new brake lines in it. It's already got new fuel lines in it. It's already got all the things that normally fail with these. And now it's got all new cross members, new gas tank straps, the whole nine yards. So. This thing should be good for quite some time. His tow hitch is good. The frame is good around the tow hitch. So all we have left to do, literally, like I said, guys, put the six bolts in the bed. Um, we're gonna make sure that we didn't miss any areas with paint and primer and stuff like that. So once it's up in the air, we'll be able to see underneath it better. We'll touch up any areas and we'll do that tomorrow morning. But other than that, guys, this one is done. I hope you enjoyed this three-part series. This is part three, the end, and I don't know if it's going to be very long or whatever. It just, it was a pretty quick process. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. We got another Jeep coming in, and probably not going to film that one because that one is, uh, we're getting the parts on Tuesday and it's got to be done by Friday. So, we have to hustle on that one. So, I won't have time to film it. But, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you like what I do, and uh, we'll see y'all in the next one. So, have a good night, everybody.